Does anyone else buy like, the same sweater in four different colors? Or is that just me? Probably just me. If you hear panting in this video, there's a dog right down there. Sorry, nothing I can do, it's hot outside. Let's talk about gratuities. Everybody hates paying gratuities, but honestly, this is how the Disney cast members make their money on the ship. There's a cat. Hello. Every cast member I've ever talked to has always said that they get the most of their, majority of their paycheck comes from tips and the gratuities that the guests pay them. So let's talk about gratuities today. I've got my computer over here with the cost per person per day. No, you can't be on the table. There are automatic gratuities and gratuities that you will, that are at your discretion. So, and then the automatic gratuities, you can change them too. But at the end of your cruise, you'll get a slip, and I don't have one because you tear it up into sheets and you give them their tips. But at the end of the cruise, you will have accrued gratuities for your server, your assistant server, your head server, and your room stores. So there are four people that you will have to pay just because they, you know, take care of you every single day on your cruise. So for the server, the server gets $4.50 per person per day. So if there are two of you, then it's $9 per day, okay? So that's $4.50 per guest per day of the cruise. Your assistant server gets $3.50 per guest per day. Your head server gets $1 per guest per day. And your stateroom host gets $4.50 per guest per day. The total per day is $13.50 per guest per day of the cruise. So if there are four of you in the stateroom, it's $13.50 times the four guests in the stateroom times the nights of your vacation. Spa services automatically accrue an 18% gratuity. Beverage service at bars will automatically accrue 15% gratuity. This includes like Cove Cafe coffees, alcoholic beverages, at the pub, canned sodas purchased from the bar. If you walk up to a bar and you ask for a Coke, they're gonna give you a can of soda and you're gonna be charged gratuity for that. There's a fountain, soda fountain, on the deck. So just go up there, the sodas are included with your cruise fare. Popcorn at the theaters in a cruise, a 15% um, gratuity. Gratuities at your discretion are Palo, Remy, port adventures that you get off the ship and there's like, maybe there's a tour guide. Tip him cash, they make their money and they you know take care of their family based on those tips. Um, room service, so room service on the ship, the food is free, you don't have to pay for the food on the ship, um, the room service, unless it's prepackaged. So like if you ask for a box of M&Ms, you're gonna have to pay for that. But if you order a grilled cheese sandwich and a bowl of tomato soup, which is one of my favorite things to do, or if you order milk and cookies, then you don't have to worry about paying for those things. You just, we like to tip two to $4, depending on how much food they're bringing us from the kitchen. There are places on the ship that you do not tip. You do not tip in the nursery. So if you have a child that is under three years old that you are putting in the nursery for, an hour or two, um, you pay $9 an hour for the babysitting, but you will not tip there. Guest services, you don't tip guest services, you don't tip your onboard shopping guide, you don't tip cabanas, dining services, um, main dining for breakfast or lunch, there's no tip there unless you order an alcoholic beverage and then you can add an extra tip for your assistant server. And your beverage seminars. The beverage seminars used to be if you, you know, at the end they would bring you like your ticket and you had to sign and we always tipped them but they don't do that anymore. They charge it straight to your room so you don't have to sign anything so there's no tipping there anymore. If you have any 
questions, any specific questions that this doesn't answer, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. But the biggest thing is those automatic gratuities for what I call the Fab Four. So you've got your server, your assistant server, your head server, and your stateroom host. And that is $13.50 per guest per day. So do the math there and you'll figure out how much you hit, you need to budget for your automatic gratuities. And anything over that is 15 to 20%. If you have any other questions, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. You'll see me really soon. Have a magical day.